Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Saucedo. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke in the forecast. Hi, Kristen. Good afternoon. We have another storm system heading our way. Though most of it's going to miss us to the north, it is going to increase the winds. We'll be warm ahead of the system today, though. Temperatures well above average tonight. We'll start to see that drop in temperatures up in the north and even a few snow showers up in the mountains near Durango. Then tomorrow, some light mountain snow up in the northern mountains, not a lot of accumulation expected out of the system, and then perhaps even some scattered snow showers up in the northeast. A big cold blast, though. Temperatures will take a big dive across the state tomorrow. We're talking temperatures 20 to 35 degrees colder than where we'll top out this afternoon. So it will be a little blustery and the winds will pick up a bit too. So highs today 70 down into the low 40s tonight. Tomorrow 53 in Albuquerque with blustery conditions. We'll slowly warm it back up as we head toward Friday before the next system moves in, bringing in more wind and more cooler weather as we head into the weekend. UNM police and Albuquerque police are investigating after a man was found unresponsive on the University of New Mexico campus. Campus police were called out just before 4.30 this morning by a UNM employee who found the man in the parking lot near Pope Joy Hall. UNM police say the man is a transient in his 40s and was suffering from some sort of head trauma. Police say they've had to kick the man off the campus several times. Police don't believe the man is a member of the Occupy Albuquerque movement, which has been on and off the UNM campus for the past month. The man accused of kidnapping and raping an Albuquerque middle school student two years ago has cut a plea deal. Fabian Fierro pleaded guilty to a number of felony counts, including bribery, false imprisonment, and conspiracy to commit criminal sexual penetration. The plea agreement caps his sentence at three years in prison. Fierro and another man, Travis Bainbridge, snatched a 14-year-old girl from Polk Middle School and then took her to a house where they raped her. Bainbridge was sentenced earlier to probation after some of the charges were dismissed. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great Tuesday, everybody.